Guys, I'm going real deep with you because they're gonna go they're gonna go deeper. I'm just one man that has been given some extraordinary vision. And I know what I'm up against. I know that there's only gonna be a very small few that are gonna take to what I'm take what I'm saying to heart. But that's enough. That's enough, man. It's enough because it's going to increase the faith of those that are going to be the ones that are going to make a difference in this world. And some of you are going to be the ones that stand between the truth and the lie. And you're going to be the ones that promote the truth. You're all going to be a catalyst if you choose. How do you become one of the ones you choose to be? You choose to be capable. You make yourself capable. You make yourself willing to do what it takes to make a difference. And if you have a little bit of vision and see what's coming, you understand how important it is to prepare and how important it is to know this. Now this is why I have went into great detail with something that seems like it might be separate from what we're talking about. But we're not. Remember, we haven't even made it out of chapter 34 of Isaiah. Remember this? Let me show you how we're still in it. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. What controversy of Zion? What is Zion? Well, Zion means fortress. Zion is a spiritual term. Zion is that dwelling place. It's either a spiritual minded dwelling place or a materially blinded dwelling place. What is the controversy of Zion? It's the fight for the souls. It's the fight for the minds of men between the God of all that is represented by his eternal magnificent son, Jesus Christ. Who well, I'm telling you, my friends, if you think that I see and I see this, well, whew, man, Jesus Christ is real. Man, you know, I feel it more than you can imagine. How do you think I do what I do? How do you think I do what I do? When, when, when you have a basket, when you make yourself capable and you have a basket, guess what? You cannot collect fruits. You can't go into the field and collect fruits unless you're prepared and you're capable to with a good, big, full basket. That's exactly right. I've prepared with a big basket. And now I've gathered some fruits, man. A whole lot of them. Think about this, man. So what's this controversy in Zion? The controversy in Zion is over your minds. Zion is your mind. Either materially minded or spiritually minded. And now you understand. Let me show you what the Spirit's going to show you. And I'm not kidding around. I'm glad that I got you all to this point here. Let me show you what the Spirit's going to show you. Here's the mind. Here's the controversy of Zion. This is exactly where we are, As, or Isaiah chapter 34. Check it out. Controversy of Zion right here. We have the material side of the mind represented by the hemisphere of the brain, and then we have the spiritual side. Zion is that temple in your mind, friends. Listen to what the depth of the Bible is explaining to you. It all goes down on different levels of the perception that you have the ability to see. I'm increasing your perception. I'm increasing your depth of understanding. Now you want to see something amazing? Look at this, friends. Look at the shape. I want you to see something here. One of my, one of my subscribers had commented on this. I didn't even know this. He said, yeah, draw a capital letter Z and then draw a capital letter N for Zion. Z-I-O-N, Zion, and he said, overlay them with each other. And he said, you would form the exact same shape that you got. And then lo and behold, I looked and I said, Z, right there, and then N, Zion. The controversy in Zion. They're bringing recompenses for this controversy of Zion. Look at this, this is the division of the mind. Man, I hope that you see this is what and how it's being revealed to me.